I forgot to do this one. Somebody asked. Dead Kennedy's chicken farm. What's it mean to me? Uh, the meaning has changed over the years, big time. Uh, but throughout, I love the guitars and the in the dreary mood and all that other shit. Besides, it's, it's a musical thing heavily. It, I mean, obviously, it's about prostitution, but I mean, uh, and camps and shit. But I mean, moreover, it's, I think the emphasis is on what it's like, probably in some, uh, in Asia, or perhaps after the Vietnam War. Um, what it was like uh, being forced into uh, that kind of labor, and uh, uh, I think yeah, this is really is about that kind of activity during wartime, or during a time when some kind of martial law may take over and uh, start distributing people where to which and where camps they're going to. Some will be re-educated, some will go to labor camps, some will go to the men. I'm speaking about some will go to, uh, some will just be, if you're old, you'll probably be chopped up, thrown in the sea. That's what they always do. Shit like that. But if you're a girl, that's what you, yeah. And if, that's, and that, I think that's what it's about. And, um, and if you're young, you're also SOL. Like young boys, kind of. And one of the lyrics early on is, um, you know, uh, she's telling her little brother, go play at the dump. You might, or, you know, go go right through what they bombed or what's left over after forces have come through and, and, and leveled the place. You might find, you know, some valuables. And then in the next verse, as it, it comes up dreamily, right in the middle of the story as it did in the first time, and it's kind of like, oh, by the way, little brother died playing at the dump today. He found a new toy and held it up proud, and it blew him to bits. Yeah. Um, or, or he was, or perhaps that there could mean he was forced into a lot of the labor, part of the labor, I don't know what they called that, but you had to go and, uh, basically, uh, diffuse landmines, and they did that for some 20, 30 fucking years, and, yeah, and so that pretty much, you know, that's, that's never good, because it was a bill, it was billions of those landmines. <clears throat> I think it's a statement about war, and it, and it also has some, even in all its sickness and how it, in the detailed report of such a thing, there, there, there's some kind of hint of hope within the lyrics where it's like, you know, our new world tries to spit us out when they get to wherever they're going, but it sure beats the chicken farm where, in that context, he's basically talking about death camps. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Right right after, basically, here's the best statement on it, basically, right after a war, when you don't, you know, when, when the need to be re-educated isn't so paramount anymore, it, it's more over, let's get rid of this excess population and death, 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 clean up more death, clean up our death as you guys. But somehow, it, it has a hint of optimism in there. 